What's going on, YouTube world and Pamper Gang members? This is the boy with the Pampers and the Toys, Al, recording from Paradise Spirit. I wish I could change the tones on this. Welcome to my paradise. Welcome to my paradise. I guess. <laughs> well, I'm just silly, y'all. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to all of your friends, all of your enemies. And, you know, I would like to take this time out to truly thank all my friends and family who subscribe to my channel for believing in me. I never thought I would get this far on YouTube. I've always looked at this. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. Um, never looked at it as competition. Never looked at it as um, a bad thing. I just looked at it as, a, as an overwhelming experience to present what I love to do to the world. Some people come on YouTube to hear good juicy gossip about puppets. I don't care for that. Puppets will be puppets. Let them be puppets. You know puppets are. And um, I just like to show my hobby of me collecting toys. I'm just a toy person. And today's, uh, also follow my Instagram and Twitter account. I think I already said it. I don't know. Uh, the Boy with the Pamas and the Toys. Um, definitely upload frequently. And as you can see today, it's going to be a very special Barbie day. Not just any other Barbie, but a special Barbie day. So I have on the Barbie shirt. <laughs> so here I go, here I go, here I go again. Barbie's weakness, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling So today we're going to be talking about Barbie the movie starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling and a, a whole list of celebrities. And I'm going to be talking about three dolls today on this video. I was going to split it up and talk about it separately, but... I'm not worried about all of that. I'm just worried about telling the world how I feel about the dog. So, today, let's see. So, we're going to definitely be getting to some things. So, let me hit a little water bottle right here. I don't want to, the box it away. I already have one of these open. So, this one, I will not be opening her, unboxing her. But, I already unboxed another one. Cause you know me, I like to have two. Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> But as you can see, Margot Robbie, that iconic look. And I, Margot Robbie's like, to me, the new age Sharon Stone. She's beautiful. She's fabulous. She's just that girl. I had doubts about this Barbie movie. And I started to look more into the storyline. I don't know if they tweaked up. Because the, the rough draft of Trailer I saw, they looked... They had them looking old and wrinkly on there, and ain't nothing wrong with looking old and wrinkly because, you know, I'm getting there, I'm old, you know, I'm getting wrinkly, I'm a little shea butter. <laughs> so, I, I just thought that, I'm like, why they got these people looking like this playing? Because Barbie, you know, we she's supposed to look young, and Ken does too, as well, too. So, you know, Ryan Gosling didn't look his best at the trailer they did have, and Margot, I love her, I love her to the moon, I do, I think she's a great actress a great actress i hate that a couple of her movies have failed because her craft is so gifted that people overlook it i don't know if it's the writing whatever but we're talking about barbie today i'm going too deep i need to be a blogger but i don't want to be a blogger and then next we're going to be talking about um come on ken ken himself i already have him open as well and um, I actually bought both, brought both, purchased both of these at Target. I think for thirty bucks a piece, they were like thirty bucks, something like that. And it's crazy because everybody was getting them online and everything, and wanting to get them so quickly. And <clears throat> I thought they were a little bit more costly online than they were when I finally saw them in retail some months later. I'm like, nah, I wait till stuff goes to retail. I'm not in a rush to. Oh, if I get it, <laughs> you know, there is a narrative, a good narrative of. When people order stuff online, no shade. It's, it's, it's all respect, and I respect the <clears throat> the source. So you know, when you heard to get it from online, you want to present it on YouTube. I will just wait till it goes to retail and give my opinion about it, and that's all I can do. Because I'm not about to spend an arm and a leg rent on something that I can get a little cheaper at retail. Knock out the cost of shipping and handling. The stuff is stuff is already up. <laughs> when it's up, it's stuck. So last but not least, we're gonna be talking about this beautiful version of Barbie. Now she was 60 bucks. 
at Target, and um, I took a chance on buying her because I love the outfit. And I'm a big Marlo Robbie fan. I support Marlo Robbie again. This is on the back of the box. Uh, Marlo Robbie, Rob, Robbie's iconic look. And I don't think I showed the back of Ken's box either. And as I'm talking about the doll, I'm gonna I'm give this movie a second chance because I see where they're going in at with the movie. With everything that's going in the world with the little AI and stuff, when you look at Barbie, it's like, oh, AI a little bit, Stepha Wives. But Barbie was here before Stepha Wives, and Stepha Wives almost like the West of the world. But let's go ahead and talk about um, the dolls, and I'll get into some things as I talk about the doll. So we're going to be talking about this Barbie right here. She has the plaid, the checkered, uh, pink checkered plaid dress. Looks fabulous. So let's. Let's talk about the doll. How about that? Let me get my little stand for my girl. So here is Miss Barbie herself, Margot Robbie. Ain't she beautiful? I mean, this girl is so beautiful. And um, I have a couple pet peeves about the doll. The doll's pretty. I do like her. Um, I love that. Now, I'm going to get to some pet peeves. Let me get to all the positives first. I love that um, they have her looking like Margot instead of... Some people were upset. I want her to look like Barbie. Well, when you look at it, she looks like Barbie and Margot. Margot, to me, looks like a Barbie in real life, you know. And um, I love the earrings right here. Look at these earrings. The earrings are... These are like the most toughest earrings I've seen on a doll, even though like a, a Barbie looks, a Barbie extra. You know, Barbie extras all over the place. I'm not the biggest fan. That's why some of them bodies got switched out back there. <laughs> and some of them extra heads got on some regular fashionista bar bodies. So, um, I love that her facial structure. Um, the eyes could have been a little bit better. A little bit. They could have been a little bit more, um, how can I say it? Pushed, uh, just a little, not close, like a unibrow, but Margot's this doll looks like her, but I just think that it would have, you know, if they made her ass a little bit bigger and pushed them a little bit this way, just a tiny inch, boom, it would have been the good old, the good old win. Her nose, I'm not really a fan of the little nostrils, the open nostrils like that, because Margot's nose is not really open nostril like. It's more so her nose is kind of slanted down a little bit. And the nostrils, she got little nostrils. We all got nostrils, but her nostrils don't poke out like that. And I'm just giving my critiques. Um, I love the facial structure. The facial structure looks definitely like her. Um, the bow in her hair, I love the iconic bow in her hair right here. I think that was a brilliant idea they did that. Um, some dislikes was my pet peeve was the hair. One thing about me, I love thick hair on a Barbie. And um, I feel like this doll right here is the less totem pole. She's a beautiful doll, but her hair is so thin. Look at that thin hair. It ain't super thin, but it's thin enough. And um, the bangs did not, they definitely didn't look like in her scenes. Like her bangs for this dress in the movie were slanted like crossed over to like parted so they did these bangs like this i'm like okay you know but um i i wasn't a fan of the hair the hair was too feathery for me like we gotta make it make sense and i get it that um you know it's a doll she can't be perfect i don't expect her to be Marilyn monroe which that's the whole idea i love the neck the necklace around her neck the necklace is very pretty um what else can I say? I just wish they would have done something with the hair a little better, made the hair look more iconically curly. I maybe because how I took this out of the box yesterday. So, you know, cause I want to keep the other one in the box. I just like to have extra. Okay, let's go down to the dress. The dress is very fabulous. And here is a plus for me when it comes to the Barbie community. I am so feeling great about this. This is the first time I've seen Barbie, and I'm just showing her with underwear, baby. That is classy. Miss Margot, I guess Miss Margot was like, okay, if y'all create a doll with me, she should have some underwear on. 
because this is based on a real person, so they should. I think every even even if the fashionistas don't have underwear, I guess it's gonna be extra. It's gonna be extra um, a cost for Mattel to put underwear on each Barbie and um, Ken doll. But at least on the famous iconic dolls, we're gonna have underwear. Cher dolls, Tina Turner, rest in peace. Uh, Gloria Stefan, and um, now Margot Robbie. So I'm happy about that. Now the dress, I was a little disappointed because they could have had like a little skirt, a white skirt or something underneath her dress to make it feel more filling. Because if they want the Marilyn Monroe feel, you gotta have the the garment underneath it. And you ladies and people know what I'm talking about. You know, so if she's like right here and it's blowing up, there's that one part that's still down that slit. Or, uh, you know what I mean. So, I'm happy that um, she's got pointy feet to have heels on, high heels. And um, I would have loved for that rubbery feel on her legs a little bit, like the rubbery band and all of that. Not being picky and being funny and all of that, but that's what I would have loved most. <laughs> but I love that they made, you know, her hands, her body looks really great. It looks really great. Now, my only pet peeve is that um, I want her to come with like a handbag, this doll, the handbag that she had in the movie, or, uh, you know, something like that. But maybe you have to buy, I would think down the road, they would have more dolls that are probably like separate, uh, with separate fashions. And that's okay, because I, you know, I'm not bad them. <laughs> so, um, let me see. I, I lo I'm loving the body. The body is that iconic, um, that iconic Barbie looks based on a true story like. <laughs> but the hair, they could have did better on this. The hair was just a bad thing for me. But honestly, um, this doll, she's beautiful. Very beautiful. I love the smile and all of that. I, I'm taking some points off for the hair. I'm going to give this doll a 9 point five out of a ten because of the hair is too thin for me. That takes off a huge it ain't gonna take off a whole point, but it's gonna take off a half a point. Like she's a salad, she's a salad. <laughs> so but the dress, I do love the dress though. I just wish I had that extra piece that fluffed it up when she you know she does her little Marilyn Monroe uh, video. I wanna be loved by you. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> so this doll right here gets definitely um she gets a 9.5 out of 10 but she's still pretty i would say recommend i would recommend you to get her and add her to your doll collection so there you go that's the first doll so let's um let's be iconic and put her to the side because this doll costs a lot of money from fashion needs they like seven eight dollars mm -mm. come in Man, the best, children, man. So next, we're going to be talking about my boy here, Mr. Ken himself, and Ryan Gosling plays as Ken. And I think everybody's name in the movie is Ken, which is crazy. So on the back, it just shows the dollhouse, which I don't think I'm going to ever plan on buying it because I don't got no room for that in, in Paradise now. If I get a, a bigger place, you know, a bigger house, then I can definitely um, maybe use some extra funds to buy the dollhouse, but the dollhouse is about $500, they can keep it. So there, here you go again in the box. So he's gonna be left in the box. Greetings from Barbie Land, wishing you the best day. Now with the Barbie storyline, from what I saw, um, it's basically Barbie being in the Barbie world. It's very AI-like, very, you know, computer-like, but she has a chance to go back into the real world and I think the most iconic scene I saw so far on the trailer was when Margot Robbie was the, uh, she was dressed as that other Barbie I'm about to present. She was running them heels from whoever she was running from. I don't know if she was running from police and the girl was gone. She was like Beyonce running them heels. So with him, Ken played by Ryan, uh, Ryan Gosling plays as him. I am so big on Ken having real hair. I mean, it is such, a greatness to see a Ken doll with real hair. Like, there's a couple fashionista dolls that have real hair. So, with this Ken doll right here, I don't have too many actual Barbie looks and um, Ken dolls. The only one I do own, I own, I got a Wonder Woman, um, I think his name is Trevor, her boyfriend, I got him. 
Um, and that's pretty much the only kind of movable can I do have. And he's not even for display of, he's only for display. He's not for like to move around. I want to keep him in the, I want to the shrine in the corner over here. So with Mr. Can here, I love the outfit. The outfit is, there's a stereotype for, see Ken can stand up on his own because he got flat feet. He always has flat feet. I think with Ken, he, uh, certain people can get away with certain things without being judged. If you know what I mean. So, with Ryan Gosling having a body, the, the, he's not a petite man, he's just muscular. Probably about a, I say Ryan Gosling, like he ain't no more than like 180, the most. You know, to be his height, possibly. I could be lying, he could be a little skinnier than that. They make the man lose weight too in Hollywood. But, um, with um, this outfit, I do like the outfit. It gives me that Ken doll feel. The blonde hair does give it to me too. Uh, I may wash his hair to get that little, I don't like that glue because I feel like after a while, if you leave your dolls like that, the hair starts to shed because whatever chemical they're using or the straight, like gel the hair down, it's not good for the doll's hair. And they do a lot of the Ken dolls like that. I don't really see them do Barbie like that unless Barbie has some type of apple pie mom hair bob or curls, whatever it may be. So with this outfit right here, I would have loved for it to him to have like a white beater, but they gave him a Ken doll feel. The shorts are pretty short, but hey, he's Ken for crying out loud. Look at his shoes. His shoes are really nice. Um, you know, he is um, got a great thigh cut of articulation, but you don't want to spread his legs out too far because you'll break them. Um, Ken did come with a surfboard. Surfboard, surfboard. <laughs> no, I'm not going to the Beyonce concert. It's too high. And, okay. So, there's a surfboard. And I'm trying to think how can maybe I think you take off his shoes. Because, you know, Ken always had flat feet since the 80s. I believe this is how it goes for him. We be all night <laughs> So, how I got my camera positioned now, I can really show up close and personal of the dolls. And I like the face scope. Now, again, I was kind of disappointed when I first saw the trailer a couple months ago. I said, oh, they, 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 they had definition showing they wrinkles and everything. So, I don't know if they Botoxed it up for the movie or they added some eye, some, um, AI imagery to the the what they look like, <clears throat> and you know maybe the, maybe Brian Gosling, maybe Margot Robbie. I don't think Margot Robbie's like they look like in real life. Cause you know Margot Robbie, her first career was on Wolf of Wall Street. I think that was her first movie, and she was gorgeous. She still is gorgeous to this day. But Ryan Gosling's been in the game for over almost 20 years now. So I was like, oh god, he looks kind of wrinkly. They, they, are you sure you want to have them to play as Barbie and Ken? <clears throat> but I'm going to give the movie a chance. So, um, with this right here, I would have loved... Now, they got some more characters out. They definitely have some more characters out of dolls. Like, they have another can. They have um, the Asian can. Uh, I don't know who the African-American Barbie is. I, I guess it's supposed to be Christy. And I think that Issa Rae, if I'm not mistaken, plays in um, the movie. I like Issa Rae. And I'm not going to say nothing bad about it. Uh, say nothing bad about her being in it. I just want to know who she played as. I think, if I'm not mistaken... Where's my girl at? Because I talked about her in another video. I, oops, who fell? I think it's a right place as this girl right here in the movie. I think. Because she her she came from a fashionista. Do I have a fashionista? Okay, okay. Well, what's, it, what's so crazy is that the certain fashion they have in there is of this doll right here. Definitely. 
So that's her as a fashionista. And there's a certain outfit you can buy at Walmart. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Issa Rae was that girl. You know. I'm not gonna throw no shade because I'm a big fan of Issa Rae. I like her. But I just want to show that real quick. But basically, um, they now sell these dolls at Walmart. And uh, they don't just have them at Target. So Walmart has a lot of them. I may buy another set just to have as a body, maybe a body swap for Ken. I may buy a couple more Ken to just swap some heads out. How about that? So I can feel like I got like a Barbie. Um, I have a Ken doll head. I don't know, his, his skin tone might not go with that. Cause I want to swap his head out too. He's a very rare fashionista doll as well. He got this all his hair. So I would give his Ken doll definitely a 10 out of 10. I'm very pleased with him. Um, I would have loved, if you're paying this much for this doll, I would have loved for him to come with another outfit. But I guess if, if he came with an outfit, they would have probably boosted up to probably about 40 bucks. But she gets a 9.5 and he gets a 10 out of me. 10 for me because of her hair is too thin. Okay. So let's move on. Last but not least. Oh, I hope she did not fall. Her hair's already thin. So I'm going to leave his shoes right here. Last but not least, this is one I'm about to open up. Because I couldn't afford to get a second one. I'm like, uh, I got bills. Last but not least, this is the uh, Barbie uh, where she has the little Western attire on, which I think is cute. And I love the hair. I already know that hair is going to be thick and healthy. So let's get this beauty open. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie world. Life is plastic. It's fantastic. You can brush my hair, undress me everywhere. Imagination, life is your creation. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah, 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 yeah. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> I don't own the rights to the song. YouTube don't flag me. I was just singing about Aqua. That's the iconic, most famous Barbie song of all time. And they, they, they still eat off that song to this day. So give big ups to Aqua. I'm for sure they got paid for this movie, too. Okay, the box and I love the box how they did this box, and um, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, girl, with your boots on, with your gator boots. All right, so I gotta use my famous iconic scissors to get a couple things. Could. I can act like a star, I can beg on my knees. Come jump in, be my friend, let us do it again. I don't think, and when you think, when I think about that song, that song came out when I was, like, when I was in middle school. I think I was like in eighth grade. I don't think that song was suitable for kids when you think about it, listen to the lyrics. I guess the concept, I guess it's how you listen to it, maybe it is, I don't know. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Margo, baby. Margo was promoting herself on her Nicki Minaj. You know, Nicki Minaj is about the Barbie thing, too, but... <clears throat> I think they may have made a great selection of uh, the girl to play as Barbie, because I love all Margo Robbie's movies. She she really did it in our time, though. Like, she was a whole different person. The movie Babylon, I don't think so great. The movie was weird, but it really gave you uh, a message. Well, I'm not gonna say what the message is because, hmm. anyways, all right. Okay, see, the thing is that, this is what I don't like that Mattel does. You cannot be putting these dolls hair in these type of strings and people are struggling to like pretty much you know move that remove the hair i'm just saying mattel mattel you gotta y'all gotta get together because that's not fair to consumers because some people don't have time to take this hair out of this out of these dolls um, well you know not hair out of these dolls but you know what i mean the string that hangs on the hair of my words with a little tongue twisted 
so we're gonna get into some things real quick with this doll. All right, okay, now we'll work with something. We'll work with something now. So, oh, okay, there's a hook right here, a stand for her. I may buy another one of these. I'm gonna see how, whenever my review goes, how do I think about it. And I'll let y'all know if I buy another one. Well, <clears throat> how do they expect me? Oh, okay, you gotta put it in this way, Lord. <clears throat> okay. So, this is her iconic Western look that she wore. If you look at the, um, the trailer, this is one of her main outfits. Along, all her stuff is her main outfits. So, they got that little icky glue to make keep her curls alive. I don't like it. I'm going to wash it out. Um, I love, again, the face. It looks just like Margo. <laughs> Would have happened no other way. I love the cowboy attire. I think the cowboy attire is very girly, very feminine. And now here's what I would have loved. Now they already got, let, let, let's see if she has underwear on too. Let's be respectful though. Okay. <clears throat> so she doesn't have underwear on. I don't know why. Um, oh, this is a clip. I've never seen pants, a Barbie pants that had clips, like a clip on it. Usually I'm just used to it snapping, so I guess it's an upgrade. But I'm let me upgrade, I'm okay. So, <clears throat> with this doll being 60 bucks, she should have a pair of underwear on. The same thing this doll had right here, she had underwear. Why did she have not have underwear on? She should have had a bra and underwear. If you're gonna pay about that much for her. That's just, that's how I feel, my opinion. <clears throat> her hair seems to be a little thicker than that. <clears throat> and I guess the reason why she was fit 60 bucks is because of the outfit, I don't know. <clears throat> I, I think you're paying more for the fashion than you are for the doll. <clears throat> because maybe somebody upscaled had, um, and the boots are really cute. I like the boots. The boots are really cute. Very Western-like. Um, <clears throat> I truly think this movie will do well at the box office. I really think it does. Um, the outfit. I love this outfit. I like the scarf around her neck. I love her earrings. I love her facial structure. The hair could have just... I, I, I'm not going to be too pain on the hair. Because the hair is pretty... It's nice and thick. So I can wash this out. And... Um, She'll still have her curls because this right here looks like a wig, a mop wig. <clears throat> when the truth is gone, don't you want somebody to love? That's what she looks like <laughs> with that hair. <laughs> Not somebody to love, but when she turns around, oh, you like, oh, Margo, hey, girl. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> but really, this doll's really pretty. Let me be, I'll put all jokes aside. I love the design of the stars on her pants. Um,. <clears throat> I, I love it because Bar because Margo has is, is a star. Now <clears throat> this is supposed to be her strings right here, like some uh, where she ties up her um, pants. That was a cute little design. She has stars on the back of her pants on each of her butt tops. The scarf is really <clears throat> the scarf really brings out this outfit. I love this scarf. I may purchase more in the future of scarves for my dolls maybe down the road but right now that's not important <laughs> but this doll right here she gets a 10 out of 10 for me i'm not taking no points off of the hair because the hair is pretty thick it just gets that ooky gooey gel glue whatever it is that's like ugh. so her hair is not super thin you know actually it's kind of realistic of real life i get it totally but <clears throat> i think that i don't think the doll actually by itself was worth how can I say it? Oh, and her, here's her hat. Lord have mercy. How did I forget her hat? Wait a minute. We'll go this way. That's her hat. Come on now, girl. So I'm going to stand by your man and tell the world you love him. That's right. So I got to turn this around. That's right. But I don't honestly think this doll is worth 60 bucks. I think she should have been probably no more than 30 like the rest. Because... You're really paying thirty dollars for this fashion right here. You're paying thirty for the doll, and you're paying thirty for the fashion, the hat. 
so no. But the doll's look is a win for me. The price was just, just horrible. But I will recommend anybody to get this doll. I wish it gets cheaper. It's gonna be cheaper because you know like the Wakanda dolls went down to like 20 bucks. And I need to give me another Sherry, another um, um, my girl from Walking Dead. I can't think of her name in the movie. But other than that, this is a Barbie video, everyone. I'm gonna get some more of the dolls. A lot of people, I really don't want to buy the other dolls because it's the same doll, just different outfit. Like everybody's going crazy over the outfits. I'm like, if you don't buy you a five dollar pack of outfit and make your own. But enough about that. I love these dolls. I really do. You know, maybe disappointed with this thin hair, but it's cool for what it is. Okay, so purchase your dolls, everybody. And the Barbie movie does come out on the 21st, which is probably that this Friday. Um, this Friday coming up. Yes, it's Friday in a couple more days. So I would like to thank all my friends for and family for subscribing to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and your enemies. Also follow my Twitter, my Instagram account, um, called The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. And stuff like this will be uploaded to show that I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, have a great day, and I hope you do go see the Barbie movie. Give it a chance. I'm, I'm a second chance wanderer when it comes to things, because I see that it seems like it has a, it's going to have a great, a twist of a storyline. Of, I believe a little reality is going to be in there, but once I go see the movie, I will talk about it on my next Barbie video. Everyone, have a great day.